United States aircraft carrier Hornet, part of a task force steaming into Japanese waters, is now revealed as the secret base from which American planes first bombed Tokyo. Here is that secret airfield. 16 B-25s, twin-motored army bombers, lashed to the Hornet's flight deck. The dramatic saga of a combined Army-Navy mission that brought panic to Japan and stirred the world for its brilliance and daring. Colonel Doolittle, now a major general, assembles his 80 volunteers before the flight. Not until this moment is their objective revealed, the heart of the island empire. A fitting touch. Japanese medals awarded United States officers for humanitarian aid to the Japanese people are returned attached to 500-pound bonds. Now, in heavy seas, some 800 miles off Japan, enemy patrol boats are sighted and sunk. Survivors are picked up and put aboard a cruiser. Fearing they have radioed Tokyo a warning, Doolittle decided to take off 10 hours ahead of schedule. Plans are changed on an hour's notice. Motors begin to warm up. Never before have big loaded bombers been launched in such numbers from a carrier at sea. For months they've trained secretly. Now for the test. Doolittle's plane is first down the runway. The commander leading the flight. As the carrier plows through heavy seas, one bomber after another soars from the flight deck, pointed for Japan. the weather worse, but not one plane fails to get into the air. Taking the gale in its teeth, each bomber sets its course for carefully prearranged military objectives in Japan, a course that will put them over Tokyo at high noon in broad daylight. The Yokosuka Naval Base ablaze. Arms plants, rail yards, and oil refineries smashed by the raiders in Tokyo, Yokohama, Kobe, and Osaka. Then journeys end for the great adventure. Fuel gone, 15 of the planes are wrecked as their crews are forced to bail out over China and Japanese-occupied territory. The Japanese government flatly admits that of eight uniformed flyers captured, some have been executed. This in flagrant violation of all international law. 64 of the 80 men who took off were rescued, and most of them have returned to duty. In Chongqing, Madame Chiang Kai-shek honored Doolittle and his gallant men for a raid that did much to shake the complacency of the Japanese warlords.